at Lake of the Woods. It's like first into the water. 6.30. Not even. 6.20. And there's the get up. So let's get up. First one on the ultralight. Woohoo! Come on, baby. I'm sorry. I'm working on it. <laughs> God, I love ultralights. Goodness, this is gonna be like taking candy from a baby all day. Taking candy from a baby. Always wanted to use this jig, just didn't have anything light enough to use it on. Let's see if I uh, let's see if I go out a little further. Let's see what happens. And the boats. <sighs> Two casts. Oh, three casts, three fish. My goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's a bass. That got to be the smallest bass ever. <laughs> Stop it. Double hooked it. Quit. Stop it. I'm trying to get you all. There we go. <laughs> okay, it's my first largemouth bass this year. I don't think that counts. <laughs> there you go, little guy. <laughs> All right. Wow. Three casts, three fish, two crappie, one bass. What a great casting rod. Nice little jerk bait. I didn't know it was going to work as soon as I had a rig for it. Oop. Four for four. Oh my god. You got to learn your lesson. <laughs> Another bass. Some mamas around here, I don't know. Papas. Let me throw the bigger jerk and see what happens. <laughs> no. 
another baby bass. Okay, we got him. We'll throw the bigger jerk. We'll see what happens. Okay, we got four species, or three, three species right now. All right, let's go bigger jerk bait. No, little jerk bait, little Rapalas. There you go, baby. Yeah, I get over there later. Good top water over there. There you go. That's a girl. Oh yeah, have, this is going to be a beautiful day today. You know, I, I try to get a buddy to go with me today. He goes, it's going to be too hot. 
Well, I wanted to narrate just a little bit in this track. The uh, Resolute Rod performed incredibly. Personally, I think everybody should have an ultralight because everything that hit it, except for, you know, the sardine size largemouths, um, just felt bigger. Um, I caught over three dozen fish yesterday on this trip. And uh, unfortunately, I only had one battery um, and uh, didn't wasn't able to record, you know, the majority of it. And I'm not very good at timing catches. I did go across the lake. I did get, uh, I did throw my um, dogma from Sixth Sense. And uh, we, I got some top, wa top water hits and uh, caught some bass over there. I thought I had... Well, my battery just was dead, and because uh, I did time it right, and if I had a battery, you would have seen an explosion and me catch uh, a bass from uh, a topwater. The uh, um, and that was a largemouth. I continued to fish all day long and uh, just could not find a trout. So, you know, last night, you know, seven, uh, six o'clock, one of the couple of the guys that work at the resort asked me, he said, you want to go across the lake? We're going to catch some trout. I said, all right, that's my last species for the day that I want to put on this rod. So we paddled across, the three of us, and we hit this sweet spot, supposedly. Didn't catch nothing. So seven o'clock, um, resort closed at, you know, the stores and stuff closed at eight. So we started paddling back. So I thought I'd, I'd uh, sort of troll my, uh, my jig on the way back across the lake. And uh, that was it. I ended up getting a, a just a small 13 inch trout, but you know, they do fight really well. It was extremely fun to pull it in on the ultralight. So first day out on with a brand new rig, five species, over three dozen fish, it was exciting. I did catch some, you know, uh, some cu cu a couple, cu uh, couple two pounders, and uh, uh, nothing really to brag about in size, obviously, except for to brag about that I caught the smallest largemouth bass in my lifetime. So that's a personal best. But uh, I did do a lot of Ned jigs. I did catch um, uh, a very nice trout on a Ned Jig, actually a couple trout on Ned Jigs, and uh, um, had a, uh, that was a beautiful day. I, I fished for 13 hours. Uh, I just couldn't stop. And uh, a lot of people recognized me uh, from my channel. So I wanna thank everybody um, for supporting the channel. And I'm hoping that I can get the word out more, especially locally. Because, you know, it's, it's not only for everybody to learn and to enjoy um, fishing, but, you know, I do do local fishing reports in local lakes. And that just, it's just not available um, for Klamath area, for all the lakes that we have, my goodness, and rivers. So I want to, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, I don't usually get footage of me catching fish, but boy, that ultralight rod, it's a killer. It's a killer. So um, I do have other videos on the rod itself. And uh, I want you guys to check it out. You know, this is not, this is a high quality rod. It will, you know, you can get a $20 rod over at Walmart that's ultralight. But, you know, if you put a, pull in a two pound, three pound bass, it'll break. And that IM7 blank that this rod is made out of is is near it's really difficult to, to damage and then of course you got an 18 pound drag on that reel on that little reel it's got an 18 pound triple carbon fiber drag system that's no Shakespeare <laughs> casking is an amazing company making great affordable products that will last so thank you very much for watching this video and I am hoping to give you more and more of this I'll be back on the lake tomorrow and uh, we're going to really give it we're going to shoot for some big stuff tomorrow yesterday was sort of a break-in period for this so now that I know what it can do and how it feels get ready set go you guys know where you'll see me
out on the water. Take care, everybody.